Hey guys, Fixit Tony here. So I just recently purchased this EcoFlow River Max, and you can see here kind of what we have here. So this is the uh, the two Max, sorry, and this comes with the lithium ion phosphate battery, 512 uh, watts, fast charging, takes two hours fully charged. It also has a hookup here for your solar, which this kit actually came with solar, which is really cool. Um, and then you have your fast charge. There is no box with it. You just plug it directly in, which is nice. You don't have to carry it around. Also, this is very light. It's roughly only about maybe 10 pounds. So a um, lot of neat features with this. It can be boosted up to 1,000 watts of out output. Otherwise, it would normally be at the normal setting of about 750, which would give you about, if you're using a high wattage device, it would you know, cut you out pretty quick, about an hour. Um, it hooks to their app, which is a really neat amp. Right now it's on standby. It's been on standby for about three days. And you can see it uses about 22% being on standby. So it kind of gives you an idea. It does use juice while it's in standby, but you do get the USB-A and the USB-C 100 watt connection here. You have a 12 volt cigarette lighter, plus the cables for hooking up a 12 volt. And then you have your normal three prongs and then two two prongs. This is the older unit. This is the old river plus, and I actually like this unit too, but it doesn't sit in standby. You have to actually turn it back on every single time that you're not using it. So because of that, it stays at 100%, which is kind of cool. So this also does come with the same charging options, except this uses um, lithium ion battery pack, isn't last it doesn't last as long but this is expandable this one's 360 watt hours uh which is a couple hundred less than this but we did order the uh, battery pack which is on sale which i'll put in the comments uh sorry in the description the um how to buy that for 120 bucks which would essentially make this uh almost 700 watt hours compared to the 500 here and this also does have fast charging also and again this doesn't use a brick this also just plugs in and then you have a reset and then you have also solar but this is limited to 25 volts and 12 amps um so you really got to be careful with that if you're going to hook it in anything else besides you know their certified panels here um this one again you have upwards of 50 volts and 12 amps max and what's neat about that is again you can use your panel or you can use a big panel like i have a big over here it's actually rated at 300 watts this is too much for this but this is a smart solar charger because what ends up happening is if you put too much wattage into it it'll actually the mppt will actually lower the wattage to the 219 220 max it'll take because that is a 330 watt um panel so I've already tried it. It works well. It charges up fairly quickly, but it will max out at the 220. Can't hook it into this one because this also does produce an open voltage of over 40 volts. This is only rated at 25. And again, with these panels, they're really neat, uh, but kind of, you know, they take up a little, you know, a little bit of space. It did come with all the cables, which is also pretty neat here, including a car charger. And then again, I said the 12 volt chargers come with it too. So we're gonna be doing some testing. I just wanted to give you a quick overview. This, we actually got on sale over at Camping World. The whole setup here, it was only $400 with their current coupon that they had running. I think it might be expiring fairly soon. I'll put it in the description if it's still there. I recommend buying it because it is the cheapest uh, lithium ion phosphate battery on the market that will charge in one hour. It's up and ready to go very quickly. Um, again, degradation. If you keep on charging it super, you know, super fast, it will degrade the battery quicker. But these also do have uh, a warranty of two years. So if anything happens and you have, that's what you need it for, it's still a cheap, uh, cheap way of doing that. It also did come with a solar charge uh, with the MC4 connectors. So you can connect it right into the panels. And then the only thing I would say is if you're using it and you want to save power, you want to turn it completely off and you want to cycle it once in a while, you, the worst thing you can do to these batteries is leave them at full charge all the time because you have to exercise the battery. If you're not, it sometimes will lose capacity sitting in storage. So it's important to draw it all the way down and then recharge it at least once or you know, once every month or two. That way you don't end up with a brick situation on the battery. So, but this is not expandable. This one is expandable. And when I do in the next test and we review, I will show you how we are gonna expand this one. And then we'll make these two compete and see what they do. Cause this also does have X boost on it, which will boost it up. I do believe this boosts up to a thousand, a thousand watts into that program. And both use the same battery. 
and it's a very easy to use app. So like, comment, and share down on the bottom here. i uh, got a lot of tests coming through for these to kind of show the pros and the cons. These are available fairly cheap right now. I think you can still find them for like 200 bucks. Again, this was 400, but it did also come with the 160 watt solar panels, which could mount anywhere. So if you're out, you know, watching a soccer game or whatever, you can just put your solar panels out and you want to power something, you can actually keep the battery pretty happy the entire time and extend its usage. Uh, and that's really the plus of having solar. And again, this is IP67, so it's a, this is waterproof. Um, and this unit is not, of course, you gotta keep this covered. But the panels can be left out and you're not gonna hurt them. So again, like, comment, and share. I got some future stuff. If you have any questions, please put in the bottom. Otherwise, in the description section, I will have where I got these and kind of the price. Thank you, have a great day.